what's up, my duddies and duddettes? It's the one and only Gamer's Choice, Gamer's Champion, the one and only, the one that's loving you, the one and only DDW, and I'm right here, uh, back on my channel, to tell you guys a new story of the NYPD. I know it's been a while, but uh, I've been finding myself lately telling these stories to friends and family. I said, uh, you know what, why not just share it with the masses again like I used to, and kill three birds with one stone. Um, so... Today I'm going to tell you a story that I just finished telling my girlfriend. Uh, it's the story about, let's call her Gataya. Okay? With a G. Now, in the NYPD, there's a lot of racism. Uh, a lot of it is undercover racism, meaning uh, it doesn't really come out that open. Uh, unless you start talking to people or get to know people. But every now and then, it comes out in a way where people find out, but nobody really addresses it. Um... Back when I was when I was a cop, they started having a joke for me, calling me Little Malcolm X, because somehow, some way, uh, the sergeants found out that I thought the NYPD was extremely outnumbering. Uh, myself, if you guys don't know, I'm half black and I'm also half white. You know, I'm half Greek and I'm half black. So, you know, it's not like I'm racist or I'm all for that black power crap or anything like that. You know, if you are, that, that's great. You know. Uh, that's good for you, but I feel that we shouldn't be segregated. I, sh I feel that we should all be united. We're all humans, so why not all, you know, be part of one big group and call ourselves humans rather than distinguish ourselves individually based on race. So, any one race that's for itself, I'm not really down with that. I I'm, I'm more of a supporter for everything, you know, being united. But anyway, back on topic. Um, I found that the NYPD's numbers uh, of of their you know racial boundaries when it came down to not just the cops the police officers but when it came down to the sergeants the lieutenants the supervisors you know the bosses I found that that was very uh, unencouraging and I, I found that that was very unnumbering um, so when you're when you're a cop and you you look like a minority like I said I'm biracial um, even being a minority you, you're kind of outnumbered Five to one when it comes down to bosses. I once had a lieutenant, and and a shout out to him. Um, he's a he's a lieutenant. He's African American. I'm trying not to give away his name, even though I really want to give him the credit that he's due. Uh, he sat down there one day, and uh, we were driving, and while well, I was driving him, and he told me he said, uh, Nick, you know, um, you have to remember that whether or not you're black or white you still look black in the eyes of the department and a lot of supervisors they don't like me because I'm moving up the chain of command pretty fast because I know my job and um, he was getting like 80s and 90s on his test and he said that you know it's it's not very easy for being a minority and being a boss in the NYPD because you know after a while you become handpicked and uh, you know you get chosen to, to go into your next position so when when you're not you know a certain skin color or a certain demeanor they tend to look down on you and they tend not to choose you for anything so I'm trying to break the boundaries and it's not so easy so remember you know we get, we all gotta stick together now well I don't agree with the whole you know sticking together thing even though I see where it's coming from like I said um, I'm not for that whole segregation thing you know I, I get exactly where he's coming from uh, so one day I'm with a, a female cop and uh, she's Hispanic, by the way. And I, I've seen that she had that Barbie doll, that Barbie doll uh, attitude to where she would like talk like this, like, oh my God, you know. And <laughs> and um, I came to, to, to try to figure out, you know, why. So one day we're driving and I asked her, I said, you know, you know what's funny? And she goes, what? I said, now nah, I'm coming to think about it. How come there's no, no Asian you know, chiefs, or uh, there, there's no, you know, black, um, you know, that many deputy inspectors, or how come there's not that many Hispanics, for that matter, because I know you're Hispanic, how come there's no Hispanic, you know, uh, chiefs or, or inspectors or anything like that? And the response that she gave me was, like, it was staggering, like, it was, it was just staggering. Um, she says, well, because, uh, she goes, well, because, Nick, uh, what was it exactly she said? She said, because we don't feel comfortable around people that we're not comfortable with. She goes, mind you, 
and I'll tell you a quick background on her. She's from upstate New York, uh, extremely rich, uh, comes from a rich family, uh, has a nice house with a pool, and put, a, put it plain and simply, she thinks she's typical white. Even though her name is Gataya, uh, she doesn't want anybody to call her Gataya, she wants people to call her Gatala. And the reason why is because, you know, two L's in Hispanic and Spanish, it's a Y. But she doesn't want anybody to call her that. She corrects you and says it's else. Because I guess she grew up in a white neighborhood, so she thinks she's white. Uh, I guess this is like the Hispanic version of the Oreo thing, except Oreos still tell, them, tell everybody that we're, we're black, you know. But yet and still, she, she thinks she's white. So, and the statement proves it. She goes, because of the fact that we don't feel comfortable around people we're not comfortable with. And I'm, I'm like, we? What the hell do you mean we? You're Hispanic. You know, she's like, um, when, when you get to be a certain rank, you want to surround your, yourself with people that you feel comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with that person, don't surround yourself with those people. Because you're just going to make your job more miserable to go to. I'm like, wow, so you're saying that there's no black or Hispanic or Asian bosses because the white bosses don't choose them because they feel uncomfortable. It's kind of fucked up. So she's like, like me, I don't have any black friends because I'm not comfortable around them. She goes, when, when, well, she goes, when, when I have my parties and stuff, it's always me and my girls, and I only have like one black friend, and she's not around that much. I'm like, hold on. So you're not, you have, you're saying that you barely know. She goes, yeah, my school didn't have that many black people around them, so I'm not too comfortable around them. So of course, I'm gonna choose people that I'm comfortable with. I'm like, wow, fucked up. You know. So apparently. If you're not comfortable around minorities, you're not going to choose them to be bosses. I mean, what she says has some kind of legitimacy because it makes sense, but it's fucked up that that even happens. I get the whole choosing people for the job thing. I get that. Because there's only a certain amount of chief spots or deputy inspector spots you can fill. I get that. But at the same exact time, be fair. Use a resume. Don't use your own personal preference. This is a job. This is not a fucking social club. So, it's, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, I go and talk to one of her friends back at the precinct. His name starts with a G. I'm not going to blow him up. But he told me that she went to a party one day. Uh, it was a house party for one of her friends. And I think it was that only black friend that she said she had. And as she walked in the party, it was nothing but blacks in the party. He told me not to tell nobody. Sorry. But uh, she left 15 minutes into the party because she felt uncomfortable. And she told him because he, he was a very close friend of hers. So you can only be in a black party for 15 minutes. Mind you, it's a rich neighborhood, so... It's crazy shit. Anyway, that's my story. Matter of fact, I'll give you a little bit more of an add-on. Christmas time, I decided to fuck with her. And I'm in the car with her. And, uh... I said, hey, Gitala. And she goes, what? I said, uh... Why is there no black Santas? And the reason I said that is because she goes, Oh my God, a black Santa. Like, who would have a black Santa? And I'm like, really? I'm like, why is there no black Santas? I was like, what, what, what's wrong with that? And she goes, because Santa's not black. And in my mind, I'm like, and I'm sorry for anybody who's watching this that's underage, but in my, you shouldn't be watching this anyway. But anyway, in my mind, I'm like, but Santa's not real. So, <laughs> what the fuck does it matter? So, the fact she even got mad at that. Either she was testing me or I was testing her. I, mean, I know, I don't know, I was testing her. So then, I was like, I was like, listen, it doesn't matter who Santa, if they're ringing a bell, because it was the Salvation Army Santas, if they're ringing a bell, and they're trying to get money for a good cause, the fuck does it matter what race they are? You know, it's a made up character anyway, it could be any race that you want them to be. You know, if an Asian kid relates to a Jackie Chan Santa, let that shit happen. You know, if he wants to come down karate kicking his way down a chimney and shit, let, let this shit happen, dude. Like, what really doesn't really matter, you know? You know, if, if, you, if you want a fucking Enrique Iglesias uh, Spanish Santa not even coming in through the chimney, but coming through the front door serenading your wife, let that shit happen. What the fuck does it matter what Ray Santa is if he's not fucking realistic? If, if your kids can relate to him, so fucking what? She had nothing to say, you know, after this. But soon, later, 
you know, she started going around telling the bosses that I was Black Power and I was a Black Panther and, you know, all this other shit because she felt uncomfortable being with me and she didn't want to be in the car with me because I called her on her bullshit. I'm sorry, I don't lie. If you're a fucking stuck up, you know, delusional bitch, I'm going to say that. So, she started making up all these fucking rumors and all this shit uh, that I was pro-black or, I was, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm pro-equal. I'm pro you know, minorities, I'm pro, you know, white, uh, I'm pro everybody united, you know, fucking kumbaya, we are the world, we are the children, holding hands, you know, or one race, human race, I mean, that that's what I'm for, so, you know, so I don't know where she gets this from, remember, half black, half white, you can tell, not dark, not extremely dark, I got some kind of mixture in me, and that's Greek, because my mom is Greek, so, you know, say what you want, bitch, I'm not there anymore, but... This is my story at NYPD. Till next time, game over, bitches. Deuces.